morning students today we going to revise the topic decimal numbers and in this we first do about the place value and before place value we should know about the places of the number so you can see i have written a number and now if we move towards the left of the decimal the places are like this is ones this is tens and if we move further after tens it will come hundreds thousands ten thousands and so on and if we move towards the right of the decimal number the places are like this tens t e n t h s tens will come and this is hundreds hundreds and this is thousands thousands ths okay so remember this this is important so these are the places don't be confused that the when we move towards right just after the decimal there is any position like ones v o n t h s nothing like that this is wrong only the tens will come we'll start with the tens after the decimal towards the right okay now what about the place value suppose we need to tell the place value of 7 so what can be the place value so place value will be 7 tens means that number together with the place so place value of 7 is 7 tens the second thing is expanded form that we going to start how to expand a given decimal number suppose this is a number let us learn how to write it first of all write the number and then multiply it with its place its place is yes yes it is tens so we should multiply it with the 10 then again the number and multiply with the place and place is 1 so 1 plus now this is the number write the number and then its place so place is yes tens so tens means 1 by 10 we can write the place then again the number and the place which is hundreds and then added with 1 and again the place of the one is 1 by 1000 mean thousands so in this way we can expand a number now the comparison which is an important part of this decimal number how to compare different decimal numbers which one is bigger which one is smaller or if we want to write in ascending or descending order how should we write so first of all you can see i have written some numbers and in all these numbers the left side of the decimal is we are having 6 so we cannot compare with this let us move to the another number it is 84840 so we need to write the smaller number first of all so which one is the smaller 6 all same and then we must see just after means at the tens place which number is smaller 04848 so 0 is the smaller so our first number which is the smaller is 0. Point, sorry 6.08 so what can be the second number now the second number we have two choices 6.4 and 6.48 as they both have 4 on the tens place but on the hundred place if nothing is here means it is 0 and here is 8 so which one is the smaller this is smaller so i am writing this so next but obvious this will come okay this we already taken so this three number gone now we are left with these two again tell me out of these two which will come here which one is smaller as nothing written to zero so if we compare the hundreds place then here is zero here is four so this is smaller so i'm writing 6.8 and then 6.84 so in this way in this way you can compare the numbers or you can write them in ascending or descending order as we have written now next let us start the conversions 
So before starting, I have made a table. Let us understand this, in which I have shown the units of length, weight, and capacity. So they have. Uh, let us take one only. They are similar terms. You can do the weight and capacity also. Here I have written kilometer. Then this is hectometer, decameter, meter, decimeter, centimeter, and millimeter. So these are the units. We are going from the bigger to the smaller when we are going towards the right so when we want to convert the bigger unit to smaller we have to multiply by 10 at every step and if we need to convert the smaller unit to bigger units so we need to divide by 10 at every step okay so we'll use this table and you'll understand more so how to remember this table let me tell you one thing that uh, maybe you have done in earlier classes also that you can remember in this manner that king heavy died mother did not cry much the first letter so you can remember in this manner so all are in this only only the place this is here i have said mother here you can say king henry died granny did not cry much king henry died lady did not cry much so you can remember in this manner okay now one more conversion unit uh, the questions you get is uh, rupees and paisa questions in which you should know that 1 rupee equal to 100 paisa and if we want to convert 1 paisa into rupees then 1 paisa equals to rupees 1 by 100 that you should know so while doing these conversions you will more understand how to convert so first is 4 kg 5 g that we need to convert to kg so you can see 4 kg we need not to convert because this is kg here is also kg so here i am showing the conversions so 4 kg will remain the same now 5 g we need to convert it into kg so how can we do this first of all you should know 1 g should Value is one gram equals to one by thousand kilogram. As you can see from the table itself, that one gram want to convert it into the bigger, so we have to divide by ten, 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 three times ten means three zeros. So that's why one by one thousand kilogram. In this way, you can do. Now, if then five gram equals to five by one thousand kilogram. And in decimals, we if we want to write, we can add zero point zero zero five kilogram. So here we can add zero point zero zero five kilogram. Okay, and uh, so the answer is four point zero zero five kilogram. Now the next, we need to convert five liter thirty milliliter to the liters. Again, this five liter need not to be converted. Only we'll add. as we have done here so so 5 liter will be as it is now 30 ml we need to convert to liters so how we can do so so 1 ml we should know is equals to 1000 liter so 30 ml equals to 30 ml equals to 30 divided by 1000 liters now this zero will cancel with this and in decimals we can add 0.03 liters 30 ml will be equal to 0.03 liters so i am writing here 0.03 liters after addition you can get the answer 5.03 liters okay now let us do the conversion of this 8 rupees 7 paisa again as you know as you know that One paisa equals to one by hundred rupees. Okay, so seven paisa equal to seven by hundred rupees, and in decimals we can write zero point zero seven rupees. Okay, so now eight rupees. It means we can add eight plus zero point zero seven. So after adding, we have result eight point zero seven. So this will be the answer here. Now, last part is two kilometer five centimeter. So this is a little bigger. So let us understand. Again, we need to convert it into kilometers. So this will be the same two kilometers. Now, 
the thing is 5 cm so for this you should know that 1 cm equals to how many kilometers you can see 1 cm here is cm how many kilometers let us start counting the zeros 1 2 afterwards you, you have to start the counting just after the centimeter 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 zeros will come so it means 1 centimeter equals to 1 by 1 lakh 5 zeros kilometer okay so here is 5 centimeter so 5 centimeter equals to 5 by 1 lakh kilometer in decimal it will become 0. Point Four zeros will come and then five kilometer. So the same thing you will add to the two kilometers. Okay. So then the required answer will become two point four zeros and five kilometer. So in this way you can learn the conversions and you can do them easily. I hope you understood this revision topic and you will practice accordingly. Thank you.